Rewatching Sister Wives with all of the hindsight of the last 17 seasons puts a lot of things into a new perspective. It's no secret that Cody doesn't exactly make savvy financial moves. However, now that Janelle, the financial planner of the family, has separated from Cody, I am genuinely concerned about Robin and Cody's financial future. I want to look back on two business ventures that came up over the course of the show. My sister wife's closet and Mary's B&B. Cody's approach to both of these business ventures not only highlights his blatant favoritism of Robin, but it also highlights why one might be concerned that Robin and Cody are two adults that continually make questionable business and financial moves. Let's discuss. <laughs> Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. The Brown family finances I have found have always been kind of vague and ambiguous. From what I've gathered over the years, there is a portion of money that is family money and then the wives are allowed or go off and make their own money as well. My sister wife's closet, that infamous pitch meeting. I would have loved to see this pitch on Shark Tank, I'm not gonna lie. It seems like in the early days of the family, whoever went out and generated an income all of that money went into a family bank account. As the years have gone on and as the wives have taken on other business endeavors, mainly MLMs, it seems like there was a component of money that was pooled for the family, but the wives had their own money as well. This might seem as benevolent of Cody to allow the wives to keep the money that they have made but the way I view it is I think that he saw it as absolving him of any financial responsibility to those households. Remember, Christine was left to actually raise money for Isabel's scoliosis surgery because Cody did not carry Isabel on his health insurance. We don't hear a lot about Cody's business ventures on the show. We just know that he has businesses with his friends. And I guess to some degree they are successful or I guess successful enough to produce an income. I am assuming that if Cody is successful in these business ventures that we don't see play out on the show, I do don't think that he is the finance guy because from the business ventures that we do see on the show and all of the manic moving that he makes the family do, he doesn't exactly strike me as fiscally responsible. He more so reminds me of myself in my early 20s, which is fine if you don't have 18 kids and four wives to provide for. I first want to start off by taking a trip down memory lane and remembering the big push that the adults in the Brown family made to make my sister wife's closet happen. My sister wife's closet is our online jewelry boutique. We've been putting so much of our own money into the business. We've discovered that the business needs new ideas basically every other week. And so we need to be able to grow the business in order to really make it the kind of business we want it to be. I would like to see us have our own store and by the end of five years actually have stores. I'm working really hard for my sister wife's closet and I don't think I can have another baby unless the workload that I am that you have with my sister wife's closet lightens up. Okay. I'm so overwhelmed, I couldn't even imagine trying to have another kid right now. If you and I want to have more kids, I've got to lighten my workload. I'm not looking for a loan, I'm looking for venture capital. I'm looking for something that's going to grow our business very quickly. Our family needed a business and we built my sister wife's closet as an online boutique. But it's costing us a lot of money um, in, in the business plan or whatever business plan that we develop. Now you had mentioned business plan. Do you guys have a business plan together? We're in the process of writing a business plan. We're looking for a little bit of guidance from you on that as well. From the minute that we walked in and I could see that we were unprepared, I just felt like we were little kids playing house. We look stupid. Do you think that your partners, if we come with the right amount and show the work, have we got a viable business? What we have right now, my partners with 
basically chew you up and spit you out. On our next adventure. Yes, we are. Which is. And we need some help. We're building a business plan to pitch to some investors so we can build Mrs. Rush Closet. Who's the kind of CFO amongst you? That would be Robin. Robin's been managing the accounts payable, the accounts receivable. I didn't hear my role mentioned. I mean, my, my name mentioned anywhere with the financial. And so I'm like, well, then what do I do? Why am I up till midnight putting together the damn financials for this plan if I'm not really CFO? We are my sister wife's closet. We are a retail brand of fashion forward accessories and jewelry. We're getting around 2 million to 15 million hits on our website every single month. What this means in sales though is for two months we averaged and it was 500 sales. We're asking you for $2.5 million of investment capital. In return, we're offering you 20% in our business to become partners on this project. And I've heard you talk about your hope is to convert, but you've had a captive audience and you only have 500 sales in that. I need to know where that m fabulous marketing with all these people hitting your site, where has that gone? Like I said, 2.5 million, that's quite a bit of money. So my big takeaways from this pitch meeting is that the Browns were needing money on a large scale. They were asking for $2.5 million in exchange for 20% equity in my sister wife's closet. Again, I so wish we saw this play out on Shark Tank. $2.5 million, that is a lot of money. And keep that number in mind for when I get to the point where we talk about Mary's B&B. &B. Another takeaway I had was that their traffic to sales conversion rate was abysmal. They were getting millions of hits on their website and it was only resulting in a few hundred sales. One lady giving feedback speculated that maybe it was a failure of their marketing, but I also think price point and product appeal had a lot to do with it as well. I don't know if we ever got a specific dollar amount that the Brown family invested of their own money, but Cody did say that they had been funding my sister wife's closet on their own for the past two years at the point that they went into the pitch meeting. We all know my sister wife's closet was definitely Robin's baby. And it was way more important to her than any of the other wives. I don't recall anybody ever looking at Robin's resume to see how much business know-how she had. As a matter of fact, Cody named Robin CFO of my sister wife's closet, which really upset Janelle and it ended up having to be something that they hashed out in family therapy. Another number that we don't ever get is just how much money the Browns lost due to my sister wife's closet. Robin to this day has not and probably will never admit that my sister wife's closet is no longer a functioning business, but the website has had a notice on it of we're under construction and rebranding and coming soon. And that has been up since like 2019. Now let's fast forward to season 13. We are a couple seasons past the catfish incident. Cody has relegated Mary to a relationship purgatory situationship. Mary has gotten herself involved in the MLM Lula Row, in which she has found a lot of success. So going into this B&B, pitch, she actually does have a proven track record of making a business successful. A family home that Mary's great grandfather built came up for sale and Mary wanted to buy it so that the house would be back in the family. And this wasn't just Mary buying a second home for shits and giggles. She intended to operate it as a B&B &B so it would be income producing. Let's take a look back on the road that Mary went down to try to secure some family money as a loan so that she could purchase this house. But I'm just kind of at a place where I just can't do it on my own. So I just need some help. So I just need to talk to him about it again. My loan was approved. <laughs> really? Oh my gosh, Mary. This is very good news. This is crazy exciting. At this point, the appraisal's in. I've been approved for the loan. I just need the down payment. I have half of the down payment. I still need about 40. I absolutely believe that if Mary will do this business, 
it will be successful. The problem is, is we've never heard her commit. So her business plan doesn't work for us yet. Well, we haven't seen a real business plan and that's something we've always done. It sort of surprised me in our discussion and I was kind of broadsided by it when I asked Mary if we were gonna be equity profit partners. And she said, no. Anytime you have a, a significant financial disparity in the family, you literally have sort of a breakdown in the family. All of us, whenever we've asked for money for things, right. have been become equity profit partners on the other businesses. Right. But there's essentially two things that we've always had to do in every case with everything that we do with each other, equity profit partners and providing a, a functional business plan that works. When you asked for the loan, you said that we wouldn't be equity partners. I'm curious why we wouldn't. I'm being very careful about not reacting right now. I'm like holding it in right now because like part of me wants to just stand up and it's like, okay, fine. I don't need you guys. Okay, like so start thinking okay, we're my business in my house. Here's the thing. You want me to do all the work and you get the That's money for it. What yes, I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's easy, Robin. Yes, you know I don't see sister wife's closet money. Help for taxes last year. I spent a lot of time working on my sister wife's closet and I know all that money. And the money that we're making off that business is going back to the family. I, I know this. One thing that is different here is that all Mary wanted was a loan from the family funds. She did not want anyone in the family involved in her business, which I can kind of understand. Robin was more than happy to leverage a ton of family money and force them all to participate, which none of the other wives wanted to do. At one point in the discussion about taking family money as a loan for Mary's B&B, Mary makes a comment under her breath about never seeing anything from my sister wife's closet. And Robin retorts that it helped Mary at tax time. Why did it help Mary at tax time? Was it because Mary could write off a loss? Mary secured a loan for this house and came up with half of the down payment on her own. She was looking for $40,000 to fulfill the other half of the down payment. She just didn't want any other hands in the business, probably because she never saw anything from having an equity stake in my sister wife's closet. And if Robin was the only one who financially benefited from my sister wife's closet and had an equity stake in the BNB, I'm sure that Mary assumed that Robin would just bleed this revenue source dry too. So I get why Mary just straight up wanted a loan. If Mary needed 40% to put down for a home loan and that was $80,000, then we are talking about a $200,000 house. Robin was looking for $2.5 million for my sister wife's closet. Mary was criticized for not having a proper business plan to bring to the family to borrow 40 grand. But the pitch for my sister wife's closet was comical. And here we are today in 2023. Mary is still operating as a Lula Rowe consultant, or I don't know what her rank is within the MLM, but she's up there and she is still successful. And she is running her B&B &B and producing income from it. The moral of the story here is that Mary has done very well for herself with the business ventures that she has taken on. And in 2023, apparently we've heard from some of the kids that Robin still purports to be working on my sister wife's closet. But like I said, according to their own website, it's been on notice as under construction and rebranding for several years. We all know that Cody is the biggest hypocrite about a lot of things, but I just couldn't help but notice how completely unfair Mary was treated when trying to secure this down payment for the BNB. Honestly, I thought Mary asking for this loan was pretty reasonable. And keep in mind that we actually find out that Cody had actually taken $40,000 from the family for his business ventures that he was getting ready to pay back at the same time that Mary happened to be needing the same amount of money. So why is it okay for Cody and Robin to pull out large considerable sums of money for their business ventures, but 
when it's Mary that asks, it's super unreasonable. And if all of the income producing adults were paying into a communal family bank account, then some of the money that Mary was asking for was already money that she had made. It's like she was asking for her own money back. Anyways, you guys will have to let me know your thoughts. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.